What are you making? Uh, low carb chocolate cake. We're doing it, guys. Yes, you can have low carb cake and eat it too. It's gonna be good. Um, I can't make this recipe any more simple. Trust me, it's gonna work. Let's get right into it, guys. Start a pan on a low, slow heat. This is important because we're gonna be melting chocolate on here. Um, the chocolate that we're using, it, it equals out to be about 70% chocolate. Um, and that's gonna be a mixture of using these baker squares. I'm using uh, 20 blocks at the 56% and then 22 blocks at the 100%. And that's gonna give us a very low sugar count. We're gonna let that melt and we're gonna add six eggs into our bowl. Choose the uh, sweetener that you want. I'm using at the trawl. Make this cake as sweet as you want. Also some heavy whipping cream. Stir that up, get your GoPro in there for that super dope action shot and whisk it until it's frothy. And once it runs through your whisk like water, you know you're done. It's gonna take a lot of whisking though. I kind of fast forward right through that. Uh, once your butter's melted, you can probably start melting up that chocolate. It's really important to make sure you let that pan cool off all the way or you can go ahead and start making your toppings. So I'm gonna use cream cheese for a nice sweet cream cheese vanilla icing. Get like a really dope vanilla flavor, I'm gonna be using real vanilla bean. So cut open your bean. Scrape out all those seeds. And uh, if you don't have that, then you just use half a tablespoon of extract. Once again, I'm using the granule sweetener to give it some sweetness. Once that pan is completely cool, you can add a little bit of vanilla extract. Start out slow when you're mixing in the egg batter. And then once you got all the poured in there, you can go ahead and whip it however and quickly you want to until it looks like a custard and makes all those nice little folds. Then you're done. Take a pie dish or cake dish. I only have a pie dish, so that's what I'm using. Um, and make sure you grease it up. So use coconut or butter, or whatever you want to do to grease that up. Put it in the oven uncovered, 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Once that's done, take it out of the oven. And this is really important here. You have the top is nice and crusty and cooked, but the inside is still raw egg. So cover it up with foil and close it up tight. Put it back in the oven to let that inside cook. How are you gonna know when it's done? Take a sharp pointy thing, poke it right in the middle. And once it comes out clean like that, you're done. The trick is to leave it in the oven to cool and it's gonna take a long time to do that. The center is gonna collapse on itself and it's gonna look like shit. Keep it in the oven, let it cool down. It's gonna take like three or four hours. It's gonna take forever, but trust me, it'll be worth it and it'll look nice and pretty. Maybe I should have left it in the pan, who knows. But I took it out and it came out okay. Cover up the top with your icing. I'm gonna take a little bit of chocolate and shave it on top too, make it look nice and pretty. And then finally, just choose a garnishing of your choice. Don't go too crazy with it, but I'm just using a little bit of sliced strawberries. Do it however you want. I switched it up and did this. Um, the cake turned out to be more like a fudge, but dude, it, it worked. It was pretty dope, high fat, low carb. If you like fudge cake, slap this video with a like if you want to see more videos like this and i know you do subscribe to my channel 
hit me with a comment. Let me know we're doing something right here, guys. And as always, keep it keto, stay healthy.